These are extraordinary times. The warnings yesterday from the government's advisers were stark. They can't be ignored. Labour, at a time like this, will act in the national interest. We will be a constructive opposition. We will support whatever reasonable steps are necessary to protect lives and protect our NHS. But I also want to say this. There should be nothing inevitable about a second lockdown. It would be a sign of government failure, not an act of God. It would take an immense toll on people's physical and mental health and on the economy. We need a national effort to prevent a national lockdown. The Prime Minister has had months to prepare for this. But instead of getting a grip, the government lost control. Our testing system collapsed just when we needed it most. The British people want the government to succeed in fighting this virus. We all need the government to succeed. I've tried to be constructive. I appreciate that these are unprecedented times and that governing is hard. I've tried to be fair, to give the government the benefit of the doubt. But now, with one of the highest death rates in the world, on the threshold of one of the deepest recessions anywhere, I'm afraid there is no doubt. This government's incompetence is holding Britain back. Their failure to protect care homes is a national scandal, and they still can't organise a testing regime that's even serviceable, let alone world-beating. The second thing I've learned is that a crisis reveals character like nothing else. And I think we've learnt a lot about this Prime Minister. Tory backbenchers know it. His cabinet knows it. We all know it. He's just not serious. He's just not up to the job. When he encounters a problem, Johnson responds either by wishing it away or by lashing out. He kept wishing away the problems with testing, pretending they didn't exist. He wished away the problems with the Irish border. Then, when he finally realised what he'd signed up to, he lashed out and decided to break international law. We're all doing our bit to combat the virus by obeying the rule of six. Meanwhile, the government won't even obey the rule of law. The debate between leave and remain is over. We are not going to be a party that keeps banging on about Europe. The Prime Minister has repeatedly promised that he will get a deal. So go on and get one. British business needs a deal. Working people need a deal. Our country needs a deal. And if the Prime Minister fails to get one, he will be failing Britain. If that happens, he'll have nobody to blame but himself. And he will have to own that failure. It will be on him. We want to get this deal done, and like everybody else, we're growing tired of the Prime Minister's bluster. 